Okay, so this is where our, our vase is going to go. Um, you can just draw it on, but if you have any trouble with getting both sides the same, you could use this. This is a little method I came up with for kids' classes. But it's a really neat way to get all your everything on there. Okay, so I have a piece of multimedia paper here. And I'm just going to have an imaginary line down the middle. We don't really need it right now. I'm just going to draw a vase here. Okay, so just roughly. About how big I'd like it. Maybe a little bit bigger. And this is going to be cut so you can put lines on it. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to draw from a distance here. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a line down the center. And I'm going to fold it on that line. Pick the side I like the best. Now I'm going to cut, I'm just going to ignore the one side, I'm going to cut along the pattern I've made here. to put it right onto the canvas so, you, so that you can really see the size. Just I'm just going to demonstrate a different shape of base. Maybe do one up here. And you don't even have to worry about both sides being the same. Okay, I'm going to do two different ones. And then I'm going to decide which side I like the best. Draw my line down. And I like this side. So I'm going to fold that in half. And I'm folding it along the line. And that doesn't have to be perfect either. It's going to work out. And this is the side I wanted, so this is the side I'm going to cut along. This one will use this. So I'm going to tape that right on there now. Okay, so I've taped this really well on the one side and I'm going to turn it over, place it where I want it in my picture. And I'm going to measure from the bottom of my canvas. Five. Just so I have it the same all the way across. This is where I want my table line. Okay, I've measured up five inches from the bottom in three spots so I can put a piece of tape across. So I have painter's tape and I'm just gonna put it right across. So now I have my vase and my table line ready. Okay, so first I'm going to work from this line up and on top of the vase. I have some phthalo blue and I have this big soft bristle brush. You can pretty much use any brush you're comfortable with. Softer bristle will leave less brush strokes and blend better. So. I'm just going to start with this as my base color. And I'm going to paint 
paint my edges so that I can hang it up without framing it if I choose to. much don't worry if it's totally blended it can be blotchy fairly fast your paint will stay a little bit wet and you can go back and blend over it. I'm going to go right down to my tablecloth line. say it's okay if it's blotchy. That's what we're looking for really. Okay so all right so once we're down to the vase we want to make sure we don't go in or we'll have a paint glob. We always work out from it. And you can push really hard right up and next it to it to get it right up. Dab on it. Make sure you paint out from it. This will have leaves and everything, so don't worry too much about that part. I'm just filling in those little white spots my brush sideways just so I can push a little harder on it. some background effects. Now this is all going to have flowers so and I'm just going to rub them in there a little bit. Just kind of buff them in. spot that's too white now, just come back in with some blue. Okay. Oops. So this is uh, where my bar is, So, but my flowers will be up here, so I just don't want to go too hard on that bar that goes across. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some blue, sweep some back in.
without cleaning my brush, I'm going to take a little bit of the red, put a little tiny bit on there, and do the same thing with some red. No real special place for it. You just want a little hint of the color in the background. Getting kind of a purpley going on here. Just mixing with the blue. And add a little bit of white. Very carefully add a few of those highlights. You can pretty much just keep doing this until you get something you like. And if I want a little bit of bright in it. I've just put a little bright red on there. Try not to mix it in too much. gonna come back in with my phthalo blue. Any spots I don't quite like. And you can just put some back in. time with a little bit of the original blue just to darken it up. Got a little bit of water in it this time so that a little bit too much water. A little bit of water will uh, let the other color shine through and I've dried it before I've, I'm doing this. That just blends all the lightness out of it and darkens it up again. Too much water in, but a little, little. See how it's still letting the uh, highlights that I made back there come through, but it's setting them back. Don't forget to come out when you go around your base. tape but I'm going to hold the paper down and I have my nice straight line for my table. Okay, I have some black and brown. I'm going to make a wood table for this one. You could do any color tablecloth you wanted. So I'm starting off with a flat brush and I'm going to keep my straight line here. Don't forget to always come out from the pot.
Now I'm going to switch to this big bristle brush just so that I can make some streaky marks for wood grain. Right up over top of that. The flat brush just helped us make that nice straight line. Now we can go up to it. Fairly quickly and then you can have some wet paint to work with. have the nice uh, bristles Make imperfections in the wood and as long as the paint's wet you can still play with it just not for too long And afterwards, we can do this to the bottom, and it'll be all finished. I'm just going to do a little bit of wiggles. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of that blue. decide which way my light's going to be coming from. Okay, so right here I'm going to put a shadow. I don't want too much on there. And you can put a little bit of this here and there throughout. Bring my straight brush back in. And a little bit of wood look. Okay, so I've added a tiny bit of white. Just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of highlight here and there. Where the light might be shining on the table.
Okay, so now I'm going to remove this. And we have our shape of our vase. So a little uh, brown brush. I'm just going to put that shadow in. I want the shadow a bit rounded, so it follows the shape of the face. I have a three-quarter inch flat brush, and I'm going to use a dark crimson for the pot. You can do it any color you wish. So I'm just going to load my brush up and start painting it. With my edges, I want to be really careful. Go right to the edge. And then bring the stroke out so you don't get a ridge of paint there. Half inch plot I'm going to use for my little areas. That's my dog snoring in the background. This will be covered with plants here. Got a, a bit of a roundness to the bottom. Right in here will be an opening. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to my red to darken it up. This will all have leaves, so we won't have to worry. Just don't, we don't want to leave any ridges there so our leaves won't have them in. But the front of the pot might show, so we'll, oops, that's a bit too much. Oh. Switch my little brush. And we're going to highlight this later, so the front of the pot.
I just want to darken that. And also with that dark color, it's a crimson with a little blue, I'm just going to darken up the bottom a bit. Now you can dry it a bit with a hair dryer or just give it a few minutes. Okay, so here's a straight on. Now I'm, I'm going to use the original color, the dark crimson, and I'm going to paint the center. And then I'm going to clean my brush and highlight this edge, bringing it in, shadow this edge, and then bring them together again. Got a three quarter inch flat brush and my dark crimson. Move my brush. I want to keep it, oops, I want to keep it kind of sharp so I have a nice sharp edge on it. And this here, I'm going to take this edge up a little bit. We'll highlight that after. Okay, and I'm going to use a, a bit of a smile shaped brush stroke, a bit of a curve in it. This is a round object, so any brush strokes that do show, we want them to indicate a curve. layer paint on. Okay, so to get right to the edge, you want to touch the edge and pull it across in that bit of a curve. And we're going to come back and, and darken this side because it's in the shade. in the shadow. Okay, so already we could even just leave that, but we want to create a nice clear edge over here. So I'm just going to come over to this one and do the same thing. Load your brush as often as you need. Touch the edge and bring it around. Imagine it's a round object, so give it a bit of a curve there. I've mixed a little bit of white, a little bit of white paint with my red. Make a lighter color. And I've just touched my edges and bring it around in that round brush stroke. Or curved, I should say. And I've just done that all the way down, touching the edge and bringing it across. So I'm going to touch here. And just keep working on that until you have your nice edge. You can also go along like that. As long as you get the, bring it across really quickly so it doesn't get a line. And highlights hit at different spots, a little different, so there you go. Then I'm going to go into my white and get a little bit more white on even. And go back to the edges and do, and do the edges. Touch 
the edge. You can, like I say, come down a bit like that if you like. Unless you go back and take that little line out. So now, with that light color and a half inch flat brush, a little bit smaller, load it up. I'm going to make a nice little ridge up here, which would be the edge of the paw. Should be similar to the uh, curve on the bottom one. Okay, so now I want to do a bit of a shadow, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that red right there and mix it with a, just a tiny bit of the blue. edge with my shadow color. I'm just going to go into some red and bring it in towards the shadow. Blend those two together. Now I'm just in red. But I still got a bit of the shadow color on there. Go for too far. Final thing I want to do is I'm going to clean my brush. Okay, so clean your brush and go into the original red color only. And I'm just going to lightly go across to bring these two together. In my uh, smile brush stroke. very lightly so I don't smudge it too much and that just kind of brings the two together and touch up a few spots oops I have some black paint watered down a bit on my round brush, I'm going to make a nice dark line under this paw. 
making sure I go in the curve of the pot. And then I'm going to water that down a little bit. a little bit of the, the light red on here. Oops. <laughs> this is what you don't do. Okay, we're going to see how to fix the mess. <laughs> I'm going back to my flat brush. I'm just going to put a little red on there and then wait for it to dry and I'll put a little more on. <laughs> well, a lot of this will be covered by the, f the flowers but just in case some of it shows through I'd like to have it. It's as realistic as possible. So now we'll put some fern in the vase to start with. I have sap green and yellow and a three quarter inch flat brush. So I've wet my brush and dried it with paper towel to start. the green and then I'm going to run it through the yellow on one side. And see how I've loaded my brush so it's flat and sharp but really well loaded. Turn my yellow towards my high where my highlights coming from and I'm going to try to stay out of the camera so now this is I want some of this to hang down so we'll start off with one up here. So I'm just going to keep my brush straight out from the canvas, touch, and just bring one up. This one I'm just going to... So I'm just putting light pressure by keeping my brush straight out from the canvas and lifting it sort of in a flick up for a point. I won't show you every time I load the brush, but as often as you need to keep it well loaded. Now everything's going to be coming out of the pot. So I'm going to bring one down here. Sometimes if it doesn't work out, you can go back reload your brush like I just did. Go over it again. And because this one's curving down, I'm going to make my little ones curve down as well. So that they're coming down on the right angle. Loading my brush, do it again. Okay, so I've reloaded my brush. I'm still going to keep my yellow on this side. And I'll bring one on right up here. So 
So I'm going to reload and start up here this time. paint down here behind the roses. Okay, so this time I'm going to have my yellow still facing that way. I'm going to have to turn it this way to bring it out of the pot. I think we need one out here. We'll put one out here. Okay, so I want my yellow facing that way. brush straight out from the canvas, touch it where, push it and lift it up where I want it to end. Again, loading my brush like that. And I think I'm going to do one right straight up. Again. I think I'm going to have one come in, in front of the pot for someone for that one. So it will just come out like this. Okay, I think that's enough fern. So at this point you could add any kind of flowers that you wanted or just leave it as a pot of fern. Hope you enjoyed the video and please check out my videos on uh, flowers and thanks for watching.